Yo, welcome to Premier League Game Week 5, back from the international break. I'm doing predictions today, rather than tomorrow, because I am, um, more time as well. Um, Wolves against Liverpool, Saturday lunchtime, on TNT Sports, at Molyneux, um, my prediction is Liverpool to win this 2-0 with their signings and so on. They've been alright, haven't they, since the season started. Um, Wolves have not been great, let's be honest. They've got getting battered at home to Brighton, who are doing great. Um, so yeah, I think 2-0 Liverpool at Molyneux is a good prediction. Um, safe prediction. And... Yeah, we see what Wolves can produce, but I just had a feeling Liverpool will just have a bit too much for Wolves. On to Villa Park for Aston Villa against um, Crystal Palace. Well, we know that um, Aston Villa had a very good start to the season. Well, very good since that opening weekend flashing by Newcastle. Um, they are a very good team and um, they're showing it now. Crystal Palace um, haven't made any outstanding signings in the window, and it's showing. Villa Park's a hard place to go to at the um, when Villa are like this. Um, my prediction is Aston Villa three, Crystal Palace nil. On to um, Fulham against Luton. I think Fulham at Craven Cottage always been hard to beat. Even if they have lost Mitrovic, they've still got good players. Luton, it's a tough place to go, Craven Cottage. And you haven't got any points on the board yet. You have scored a goal. And I think you will score a goal at Craven Cottage. The only thing is I think you'll concede three. So my prediction is Fulham three, Luton one. Um, I think Luton will give a good go. I don't think it'll be so one-sided, but the scoreline might... Seem a bit more than probably the game will be. We'll see. On to Old Trafford for Manchester United against Brighton. Well, Brighton's last domestic game before the Europa League campaign starts. Old Trafford, it could be a tricky place to go. Man United really give themselves a good um, effort against Arsenal after losing 2-0 to Spurs. I think Brighton will show... Why we beat Newcastle 3 1? Why we beat Wolves 4 1? Why we beat Luton 4 1? Not sure why we lost to West Ham 3 1. Um, so, my prediction is that Brighton will stun Manchester, the Manchester the red side of Manchester, and it'll be Manchester United 1, Brighton and, and Her Albion 2 at Old Trafford. And that'll be a very good game um, for Brighton. Ferguson's back, he'll score. Vitemo could score, Gross could score. In fact, Gross might hopefully get some more game time tonight for Germany against France. Um, yeah, so that's my prediction. At Old Trafford. Um, on to the Spurs Stadium. Spurs and Sheffield United. Um, so Spurs dispatched United. 2-0, um, wasn't it? And I think Sheffield United... She gave a, good, gave a good effort against Man City at Bramall Lane. But this is Tottenham Stadium. And the post-Kane era will carry on with three points for Spurs. It's Spurs to Sheffield United, nil. On to the London Stadium for West Ham against Man City. West Ham top of the Premier League and for the right reasons too. They deserve to be. They've been fantastic so far this season. Um, long may they keep it up until they play Brighton next then they can fall to that match um, now look but, um, West Ham are a very good team they might have lost Declan Rice and people thought that would make West Ham less good worse but none of it they've absolutely been absolutely at it and they deserve to be where they are and I think they'll get a draw against Man City. I actually think it'll be West Ham United 2, Man City 2. 
on to the evening later game between Newcastle and Brentford. Yes, Newcastle have lost to Liverpool despite being Liverpool being no. Yeah, despite Liverpool being down to ten men, Liverpool beat Newcastle. Newcastle then lost three one to Brighton. But they're at home, um, back at home, and the last time they were at home was to get was their defeat to Liverpool. I think they'll use that international break and so on to tinker a few things and get the players playing out better, I guess. My prediction is Newcastle United 3, Brentford 1. On to the weekends. Bournemouth against Chelsea. I think Chelsea are going to come down to earth. Lost to Nottingham Forest before the international break. All this money they've got. All these signings they've got. And I think they'll drop three more points. Bournemouth 2, Chelsea 1. And it's going to cause alarm bells around Chelsea. Because they think they can buy everything. Not develop any anything. And so yeah. That's my prediction that. Everton against Arsenal. I have a feeling that Everton will score. But I have a feeling Arsenal will score four. And Arsenal show they could have more. So my prediction is Everton 1, Arsenal 4. On to Monday Night Football between Nottingham Forest and Burnley. Uh, Vincent Company has Burnley absolutely ruined the championship last season. They walked it, basically. They're struggling in the Premier League to adapt. But I think even if you don't get three points, or if you just get points here and there to start with, then the three points come. That's adapting, obviously. And that's probably how they had to do. And I think they'll get a point and a 2-2 draw at the City ground. Thanks for watching my Premier League predictions. Um, put your predictions down, please. Um, like, follow, share, all that. And yeah, chill. Cheers. I'm out. Bye.